Numbers chapter 7 Now it came to pass, when Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, that he anointed it and consecrated it and all its furnishings, and the altar and all its utensils. So he anointed them and consecrated them. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of their fathers' houses, who were the leaders of the tribes and over those who were numbered, made an offering. And they brought their offering before the Lord, six covered carts and twelve oxen, a cart for every two of the leaders, and for each one an ox, and they presented them before the tabernacle. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Accept these from them, that they may be used in doing the work of the tabernacle of meeting. And you shall give them to the Levites, to every man according to his service. So Moses took the carts and the oxen, and gave them to the Levites. Two carts and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon, according to their service. And four carts and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merari, according to their service, under the authority of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. But to the sons of Kohath he gave none, because theirs was the service of the holy things, which they carried on their shoulders. Now the leaders offered the dedication offering for the altar when it was anointed. So the leaders offered their offering before the altar. For the Lord said to Moses, They shall offer their offering, one leader each day, for the dedication of the altar. And the one who offered his offering on the first day was Nishan, the son of Aminadab, from the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nishon, the son of Aminadab. On the second day, Nathaniel, the son of Zuar, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. For his offering he offered one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nathanael, the son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, the son of Helon, leader of the children of Zebulun, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offering, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Helon. On the fourth day, Eleazar, the son of Shadur, leader of the children of Reuben, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eleazar, the son of Shadur. On the fifth day, Shelemiel, the son of Zerushaddai, leader of the children of Simon, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, 
one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Shelemiel, the son of Zerushadai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, the son of Duel, leader of the children of Gad, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offering, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliasaph, the son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishema, the son of Amihud, leader of the children of Ephraim, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Elishama, the son of Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur, leader of the children of Manasseh, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Gamaliel, the son of Pedahuzer. On the ninth day, Abidan, the son of Gideoni, leader of the children of Benjamin, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Abidan, the son of Gideoni. On the tenth day, Ahaziah, the son of Amishadai, leader of the children of Dan, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Aziah, the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pagiel, the son of Okran, leader of the children of Asher, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb in its first year as the burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Pagiel, the son of Okran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, the son of Inan, leader of the children of Naphtali, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, 
as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Inan. This was the dedication offering for the altar from the leaders of Israel, when it was anointed, twelve silver platters, twelve silver bowls, and twelve gold pans. Each silver platter weighed 130 shekels, and each bowl 70 shekels. All the silver of the vessels weighed 2,400 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The twelve gold pans full of incense weighed ten shekels apiece. All the gold of the pans weighed 120 shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering were twelve young bulls. The rams twelve, the male lambs in their first year twelve, with their grain offerings, and the kids of the goats as a sin offering twelve. And all the oxen for sacrifice of peace offerings were twenty-four bulls, the ram sixty, the male goat sixty, and the lambs in their first year sixty. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Now when Moses went into the tabernacle of meeting to speak with him, he heard the voice of one speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony, from between the two cherubim. Thus he spoke to him. Numbers chapter 8 And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, and say to him, When you arrange the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light in front of the lampstand. And Aaron did so. He arranged the lamps to face toward the front of the lampstand, as the Lord commanded Moses. Now this workmanship of the lampstand was hammered gold. From its shaft to its flowers it was hammered work. According to the pattern which the Lord had shown Moses, so he made the lampstand. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites from among the children of Israel and cleanse them ceremonially. Thus you shall do to them to cleanse them. Sprinkle water of purification on them, and let them shave all their body, and let them wash their clothes, and so make themselves clean. Then let them take a young bull with its grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, and you shall take another young bull as a sin offering. And you shall bring the Levites before the tabernacle of meeting, and you shall gather together the whole congregation of the children of Israel. So you shall bring the Levites before the Lord, and the children of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites. And Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord like a wave offering from the children of Israel, that they may perform the work of the Lord. Then the Levites shall lay their hands on the heads of the young bulls, and you shall offer one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering to the Lord, to make atonement for the Levites. And you shall stand the Levites before Aaron and his sons, and then offer them like a wave offering to the Lord. Thus you shall separate the Levites from among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. After that the Levites shall go into service the tabernacle of meeting. So you shall cleanse them and offer them like a wave offering, for they are wholly given to me from among the children of Israel. I have taken them for myself instead of all who open the womb, the firstborn of all the children of Israel. For all the firstborn among the children of Israel are mine, both man and beast. On the day that I struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified them to myself. I have taken the Levites instead of all the firstborn of the children of Israel, and I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and his sons from among the children of Israel, to do the work for the children of Israel in the tabernacle of meeting, and to make atonement for the children of Israel that there be no plague among the children of Israel when the children of Israel come near the sanctuary. Thus Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel did to the Levites, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so the children of Israel did to them. And the Levites purified themselves and washed their clothes. Then Aaron presented them like a wave offering before the Lord, and Aaron made atonement for them to cleanse them. After that the Levites went in to do their work in the tabernacle of meeting before Aaron and his sons, as the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites. So they did to them. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This is what pertains to the Levites. From twenty-five years old and above one may enter to perform service in the work of the tabernacle of meeting. And at the age of fifty years they must cease performing this work, and shall work no more. They may minister with their brethren in the tabernacle of meeting to attend to needs. But they themselves shall do no work. Thus you shall do to the Levites regarding their duties.